<laughs> Hello everybody, this is Keelan, also known as the Fiddly Bits, and it is good to see you out there in the land of the internet. And uh, I have a full set of nano armor. Actually, my armor on is the advanced nano chest plate. It's the nano chest plate version with the jetpack module in it. And I have some safari nets from the Mine Factory Reloaded mod. And that's a wonderful mod because it just it adds conveyor belts that actually like move things. And like it does all the other like, you know, Minecrafty uh, machine things, you know, the breaker things that break down the ore, the smelter things that smelt the ore. It's, uh, it's a pretty uh, in-depth mod, if you might ask. And uh, I have a surprise for you. If you might see my HUD, it is quite a bit different. I took a few moments upon installing the advanced HUD mod, and I think uh, I think uh, I think I like this actually quite a bit. I hope you guys like it too. I've got some cooked squid meat. Uh, I'm gonna be hungry here a bit, and this is what I've been chomp chomping on. And uh, I got my got my mod pack working a little bit. Okay, so. So the, the, the little bit here is, it is a copy of the pack that was in the first episode. Now, well, I had to restore a backup and uh, I've done a little tweaking and sadly, sadly, NEI is busted, but not completely as it shows still item tool tips uh, and uh, the what you're looking at pulverizer electrical engine right lever so that's really cool and in replace of that here, we'll put that I got the recipe book and it's not it's not a good replacement but it'll work for now and you know it it's kind of similar to NEI but, you know, it's just, you can't search through it, and it gets stuck on pages sometimes, then you can't go backwards. Mods are buggy, this pack is buggy, and I'm just going to see how far I can take this pack before I utterly bust it and have to resort back to my, like, a, like a prior update again. I'm not gonna end that though. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep going. I'm. I'm a positive man. You know. I'm a. I'm an optimist at heart. I am. I'm solid gold here. I am gonna keep trucking. You know. Nothing gonna stop me. I'll walk to the moon. You bet. I'll walk to the moon. So, all right. I think that's uh, pretty good for a start. You know, we got our blaze spawner working from the Soul Shards mod, and we took a gander at that a little bit, and I do wanna, yeah, you bet. I'm gonna, well, yeah, because you'll see, it's gonna get loud. It's, it's, Minecraft has a weird habit of getting just unbearably loud at very improper times. And what's this? I have a landing bay. Actually, I'm going to be putting um, wood carts, produce carts here that's going to be taking them off of a train because I'm going to have a train station coming up out of Grand Fiddly Station right down there. It's going to be a train station. It's going to come up. I might have to do a little bit of terraforming, but that's okay. Landscaping, I've done landscaping a lot. <laughs> so, this is my shabby attempt at a farm. Um, I'm not done with this little pin here. I think it's going to be like cows or sheep or something, right? But look at it from above. I got the gravel, right? I got the, the little stone fence. It's uneven gravel. This one's kind of an attempted, like, uneven path. I don't know. It, 
I'm not even gonna use the gate. I would just gotta hop over. But I'm thinking about maybe since I can't have horses, there's no horses in this world. That's where this thing comes in. Ha ha. Um, I I can't have horses in this world, so I will show you the next best thing. <laughs> this is my utility chocobo, and this is my infinity bow. This bow is great, by the way. Look at this. Power two and breaking one, infinity one, and flame. Um, gonna put that away. So I don't want to shoot my my giant chicken. So this actually works with another mod of mine. Uh, called Chicken Shed. It's actually counted as a chicken in the Minecraft code for some odd reason. And he's very talkative today. He says Chocobo. And he's a yellow Chocobo. Um, he's got the rainbow feathers. And uh, he's actually got a saddle on. We could... Yeah, we can ride him. He cannot jump over the fence. And I like that. I like that. That's why we have the Pokeball here, the Safari Net. It's basically a Pokeball. It looks like a Pokeball. It acts like a Pokeball. It's a Pokeball. I'm going to call it a Pokeball. <laughs> but here's my little farm doodad. It's, uh, here. Uh, we're not done with the Chocobo. Um, hold on. Hold on, farm. Hold on. Like my crosshair? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's it's sleek. Oh, I like it. So here, Chocobo here, which I sadly have attempted to name. And I'm still going to try. <laughs> I want to name him something. Like, I don't know. Just some, you know, just something. But he has saddlebags on that look right down here. That's actually not part of the saddle. Those are little chests, little red chests. So if you hold down shift and then right click, you actually can open up a lock. I, I guess it's, you know, it's early mod. It's supposed to be locked saddlebags. But yeah, it's, you get saddlebags. And I've been putting all the feathers that he's been dropping in, in there and some food. You know, you got to have some food. I'll put some arrows in there too, because this boat actually doesn't use arrows I can just have like one arrow I'll have two that's probably gonna bite me in the butt later on but it's made me all these steaks <laughs> so all right chocobo back in your pokeball <laughs> I really absolutely stinking love that um, so yeah here's my here's my thingy I've gotten pins over here. I like it. I'm going to do some little farming here. A little bit of magic farming. I have a farm over on spawn that's a little bit different. Hi, Saunders House. Hi, Saunders House. So, I have... Yeah. It's kind of basic. You know? It's a start. Right? Some building materials. Diamond pickaxe. Thank you, Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Shout out to you, Mr. Horn. So, uh, I hope you like the video so far. I hope all of you guys do. Bookshelf. I have a whole bunch of different things in there. I have rails because, well, as I said, there's going to be trains. Let's sleep this night away. The first video actually contained me playing around in Peaceful. For I do not at that time wished to die horribly and uh, I didn't really I wasn't really set up for things plus the pack crashed so well I had to resort to a backup and I've been doing a little bit of uh, been doing a little bit of work on it here let's uh, do, 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 do. actually That's this is gonna be fun. Come on, Chocobo. Let's go through the nether to spawn. It's much faster. I've t I've timed this. It's crazy. And 
I have attempted to warp with Chocobo here many, many times, and I end up losing him every time. So he's going in his Pokeball <laughs> while we go through portals or warp or whatever, like any kind of magic or teleportation. There's a, there's a bunch of ways to, to, to warp and teleport, and it's it's fun. Here's a uh, here's another gate, Grand Fiddler's third heart. So we actually are on hard. Another reason why I wanted to turn the uh, volume down. I should incorporate some room for my chocobo up in here. That probably would be wise, because I'd love to be able to just ride him all the way. But it's funny. That little hallway, right? That little hallway. This is spawn. <laughs> this is so convenient. Oh, I love it. Oh, error written to any eye. Yep, that's why my any eye is busted, and I do not re do not know the code good enough to mess around with it. I did, okay. Cool. So spawn has been updated a little bit. You got to see the castle a little bit. These are actually apple trees, or they were. I changed something in the config and they stopped producing apples. Like actually the leaves would like grow apples on them and they would drop. That was from the better farming mod. And spawn's been Mm, beefed up a little bit. Just a wee bit. Just a wee bit. Fixed all the creeper holes. Most of them. Cut down all the trees. Made a giant pin for the Moo Moos. Oh yeah, you betcha. Moo Moo Ranch. They are happy as a cow in a pasture. Oh. And yes, latest death. I, I died in another twice, actually, to a blue blaze thing from the Divine RPG. Those things have like 300 HP. That cow has 10. What the hell? And, uh, here you go, Chocobo. You can chill with the cows for now. That's safe in there. And you're actually, the funny thing is with this version of the mod, he actually won't move. He'll just sit there and chirp and poop feathers. <laughs> so yeah, my wheat farm, my uh, carrots and taters, and these are strawberries right here. I had tomato plants, but uh, they wouldn't produce any more seeds, so I only have one tomato. Pumpkins and melons. I have tons of flax, which, uh, flax and hennequin, which produces uh, string, basically. I have, uh, basically it's a hand farm, it's not automated, it's it's just, you know, it's it's not anything special. I'm going to put a, a building right there, that's why that's that little indent in the ground is right there. All them trees got cut out, that took me, that took me a minute, oh, that took me a minute. And laying the gravel, fixing all of these planters. That took me another minute. Two minutes. See, right here. It was like exploded all over the ground. Like water was just gushing out. Just like creeper war, which happened. And I do recall some of this. But it must have happened much after I had stopped recording on there. Because people move on and at the time that I stopped making the videos I was going through a lot of uh, a lot of life lessons that I would learn later on was important I've been farming there's my tomato tomato <laughs> you gotta have the your bottom lip out tomato tomato when you say it uh, I got strawberries I got corn we got we got we got melons, we got we got potatoes, we can cook potatoes, we can bake potatoes. We can we can bake more potatoes. 
You like potatoes? We got potatoes. We got carrots. You like potatoes? We got more potatoes. We got some more carrots. All right. I put a chunk loader in here from the chicken chunks mod. This is really handy. Um, I should probably, yeah, it doesn't need to be that big. But so what goes on here is a chunk is a Minecraft, as you see up in my top of right hand side of the screen, the map, uh, the little squares, those are chunks. That is what dictates how Minecraft loads the world. And uh, this will keep some 40 something chunks around in a circle alive and loaded because when you actually walk away, um, the world lo unloads and it stops, like the farms stop growing. So this is how I basically have maintained a server-like uh, environment where time doesn't really stop. Here's more patches with jungle wood. I, I just, I just, I was in a hurry. I wanted to get done. And I just, I didn't really want to change it because the patches re resemble like where the war marks were in history, right? You know, there were so many stinking holes in the ground. And every now and then, I don't know what we did to this darn node but it still spews out things like giant zombies and wisps and it's not often it's not often in this silverwood tree from Thomcraft they're both from Thomcraft this was a giant hill and we had basically just demolished it and this is uh, an aura node if I get some thaumaturgist uh, they're like goggles are revealing in this they're, they're thaumaturgist goggles in the newer version ones so uh, we can see that node and the positive node from the silverwood tree that's counterbalancing it. Give you an aerial view of the beginning parts of the kingdom. There's Daniel's place. If you look up there, it's we'll go up there here in a second. See the guild over there and spawn village has never looked so sweet it's uh come on chocobo give me that feather cool i always worry because like using those darn things i always worry that uh <laughs> like i'm gonna use it and just like ride it you know and then it, or i'm just gonna fly off and it's still gonna be there and uh, these jetpacks. I'm gonna upgrade this this suit. So this is Daniel's place. It kind of looks to me like a skull inside of a mountain, overlooking the village. Man, if I had a better computer, I would totally set that render distance to extreme. But I just I can't, for recording's sake. For recording's sake. <laughs> oh my item tool tips. Oh, my durability right down here. I, I, I didn't move that. Ha! <laughs> Oops. Okay, so this happened a long time ago. Thank you for all the cobble. I always need more cobble, so here's some sand. Your pal fit. And this is actually quicksand. And I'm going to take a moment to... Actually, no, I'm not. Okay. I guess I need an actual, like, shovel shovel. I'll come back and, and empty this out. This was kind of mean. But that stinker filled my base with cobblestone. And then him and Saunders filled my base with dirt. So that was in retaliation. Here's his upstairs. It was actually a really nice structure. You know, it's got all the basic necessities. Man, there's the thomium swords everywhere. That's what this Riptar is. Sharpness 4 and Unbreaking 2. And I named him Riptar. Because, here Dan, you can have some golden swords and nuggets. I had to kill some pigmen that were getting ideas. So he built this around a tree. 
I guess this would be an interesting way to harvest vines on the regular. If you're building with vi a lot of vines, like building a giant structure, you could do this. Like, that's a good idea. Carpet, red wool. There is no carpet in this update. All right, getting out of here is gonna be fun. So how are we gonna do this without getting our? Uh, oh. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be difficult. Come on, come on, it's like, it's like cobweb. <laughs> Pretty basic setup, but it was a good start. He only made, he only made a couple of videos before uh, he discontinued it. I guess uh, at the time we were still learning how to be a YouTuber, play Minecraft, play fair. I know a lot of us wanted to get, have like control over the situation, but uh, in all fairness, hey, people, people mess up. So this is my attempt to actually, you know, make some fun with the outcome that has been given me. Let's, uh... Oh, crap. That was terrifying. How do I heal you? I can give you feathers. And it makes you love me. That's a little strange. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, down here in the nether, the, uh... I think this might be just general. Uh, this mod, uh, the Chocobo mod, uh, it stops, it lags, but I think that might be my computer. Um, I rode the Chocobo down here in the nether quite often, at least here in the tunnel. I would never, ever actually take the Chocobo out in the open in the nether, like down there is down there is just bad. Down there is bad. <laughs> Down there is really bad. So, up here, pigmen like spawning. Mm, I'm not worried about those guys. <laughs> so, I'm going to dismount you. Break my neck. Alright. I am going to pause the video here for, uh, well, heh, heh, bathroom break, gotta happen, heh, 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 I'll be back folks, bye. <laughs> yeah, well, I really kind of like how this fits in there, pretty perfectly, it's, uh, that's good. And, uh, yeah, it didn't really go to the bathroom. Uh, wasn't in the bathroom at all. It was just a phone call. <laughs> Can't get through a video without actually getting a phone call. Just, like, a pause break here. Somebody's going to ask me to do something. It just happens. It happens. Just got to roll with it. Got to have fun with it. He, uh, had some interest in bees, apparently. This is Johnny's Bakes, folks. If you guys uh, couldn't tell with uh, the sign that says Johnny's, so um, it looks a little barren. How could he be hiding a nuclear reactor in here somewhere? Hmm. Nope. Lag spike. There is definitely things going on. I think I will investigate what's going on there. It looks like he was going to build some things. Like, he had plans to, like, build a house? Castle? Something? Castle? Oh, oh sneaky boy. Hey, <laughs> So, apparently, Johnny... Cover. Stone. Cover. Thank you, any eye. Uh -huh. 
Oh, vicious lag spike. Oh, there's something definitely going on in there. Player detector. Well, I'm the owner of the map. This should, this should work. Hey. Hmm. Yep, that's their first clue. Well, near the end, and it wasn't actually caught. Uh, sorry to, like, kind of spoil the fun. I actually know what I'm doing, because me and Johnny did share the base for a little while, just for resources. We set the base up. Uh, we set, not the base, we set the server up as kind of like a share-all, and uh, had, a lot of, had a lot of fun. And, uh, Johnny, I took your... I took your ender chests. <laughs> Sorry, man. I needed them. And I'm not going to cheat them in. You know, I, I just... It's, it's, it's a lot funner when you take the time to go through all of the items to build it. You know, you have a little pride in it, like these ovens. These, these giant ovens. Coke oven brick. These giant Coke ovens and this blast furnace. Like... This, 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 I believe this is it. An industrial blast furnace with the TNT on top. That just, implosion compressor. See, building things like that when you're like in survival mode, right? And it's, it's very, here, we'll, e we'll eat some cooked squid meat. <laughs> cooked squid meat, I love it. What a handy way for your squids. They, they spawn everywhere. You might as well eat them, right? So, um, the f why, this is a, why this is a backup of the server and not the, the, the pack that uh, I actually had made the first video in is, and I'm a little scared to do it, and I probably will make a backup of the, the, the save. I mean, this pack has enough bugs. Oh my goodness, this pack has enough bugs. But I went down this, and about halfway down this, this is caution radiation ahead, but I've seen this sign before. <laughs> I've seen this sign before, and uh, I, I did not throw caution to the wind, and I, I, I jumped all the way down there. I just ran as fast as I could all the way down there. And my video crashed, or my my video game crashed, my, my Minecraft pack. I was not even recording, I was just exploring, you know, and it just crashed. And you can't really see, Johnny put whatever he put down there, really, really stinking far down there. And, oh, no, wrong button, don't go down there. <laughs> and, so that was after a while of playing. So like I wondered, and I came back in here and I did a little poking around, and uh, I <laughs> found this Beckley <laughs> reactor, mass fabricator. There's switches to turn them on and off, and I don't dare turn it on. It was on when I, I came in here for the first time, and I'm sorry, Johnny, but I turned off your nuke, your nuclear reactor, and I, I don't want to come back here and have a giant crater as one possible out bad outcome but i don't want your thing running out of fuel and causing a error in the pack like it i don't know what's down there but it caused an error okay and i blue screened and all right it just it was bad it was bad folks <laughs> but He's got a lot of goodies. Yeah, ooh. I've already taken some of the things from him. He already gave me the go-ahead. I mean, nobody, like, he says that if if he ever plays again, he's, uh, right now he's in the military. Sorry to give up that secret there, mister. But I uh, can't say what he does. You know, just bullshit, you know. Um, not that he's like really high ranking or anything. It's just But he said that yeah, go ahead. Nobody's really building on the server and I'm like, okay, so um, I'm just gonna loot. I'm gonna loot everything and it's gonna make my videos a little better because I'll just get that far in advance I get to start with a full set of nano armor. Oh, that's dead. That's about dead. I'm about dead. 
I gave my boots Feather Falling 3 and Protection 2, um, just because, like, well, you don't really need it when they're charged. And here, I'll do the... What's with the three? What's with the three, Chocobo? <laughs> I don't know. I have a lot to figure out. This pack is buggy is beyond belief, but I'm going to take this as far as I can. I'm not going to give up. And I've been dying to play Minecraft, and this is, in my opinion, the way Minecraft should be played. The 147 update was just kind of like the pinnacle, in my opinion, of Minecraft. And uh, you could just do more with it, I guess, or just felt better to play. It was just at a time that... I guess I'm just looking at it with rose-colored glasses. It's an opinion, of course, right? But, I don't know, it just... There was a lot of great Minecraft updates, a lot of them. But I'm kind of partial to this one. That and granted... Yeah, granted that most of my Minecraft uh, videos were in 147. I'm not gonna go back here. I want to go back home to Ridley Station. I can't remember what is down there. I'm going to go down there one of these days. I don't think it... I think we... I think it was a we. I think it was one of us, but it could have been just me in there. Uh, that I just burrowed in there and started looking for things. And I encountered something really nasty and I come running out of there really scared. <laughs> Run for the hills! Run for your life! Don't copyright me. Don't copyright me. <laughs> Don't sue me. Oh, it's gonna be a while before I get to this and train craft. Um, you know, train craft and rail craft. Like, rail craft is fun because actually it adds more functionality uh, to that. R rail craft and uh, forestry. Look at me lag. Jeez. Getting all sorts of lag and errors and whatever. I'll figure it out as we go. <laughs> Seriously, like oh the errors I've ran into so far. It's just it's right it's just been crazy, dudes and dudettes. And uh I'm not going to come up with any kind of gimmicky name to call you guys. You're just awesome people out there on the internet. <laughs> you get to see my setup from below and all the crazy pneumatic tubings and generators and stuff. And I don't actually have any power uh, harvesting. I think Saunders took my my battery, my, my giant MFE thingy. And uh, I'm okay with that. Like, uh, I just go over to Saunders' place and charge my stuff now. But I'm supplying his power anyway, so, you know, it's like... He hasn't even played, you know, it's like you talk like he's still playing. Come on, dude. Seriously. Basically, it's my map. Ha! My map. I'm gonna do whatever I want. I do what I want! I do what I want! I gotta take these things down. Oh, how do I make a chainsaw without using any eye? And I don't want to go through the book. <laughs> I get it. I'll do that. I'll do that later. And oh, this lag. I'm going to have to pause this video and like reload my setup here. But while we do that, before I do that, I could actually come over here and talk about what I'm going to set this up as, actually. Because that's my factory. That's Fed Station. And this is going to be a farm. Um, not necessarily like all the farm stuff down at spawn like we just seen, right? But, like, there's a couple mods in here like magical crops that I can grow things ranging from coal, diamonds, redstone, that kind of thing. And to a limited fashion, yeah, that's handy, uh, for the you know, for the machinery and for, say, the magic real, the magical stuff. And um, I don't really have too many magic stuff uh, installed in here. I was looking at the necromancy mod, and that kind of was kind of cool. 
uh, I might incorporate that if I can and get all the errors fixed. I, the errors are the big thing. Um, but I did install this advanced HUD mod and the recipe book and they both work like a charm. So I have optimism. <laughs> uh, I will get any eye fixed. I, I just probably have to clear some sort of setting or folder or something or other. And, uh, you know, it's funny, like the new update with Minecraft here, I'm going to branch off into a different little topic here. Um, like the new update just released the netherite in the nether and uh, the zombie piglins or whatever they are and uh, that weird portal for the April Fool's update, right? And I, I don't know what to think about that. That's kind of weird. But uh, netherite. Right there. I got some netherite. I got a lot of netherite. But it's just kind of useless. And NEI does work to a limited fashion. I can hit you over it. And it'll give me the uses that I can make. I need to find some blood gems. Because the recipe for a blood gem is blood gem ore. And I have to smelt it. I get a blood gem. So, you. Come on, don't laggy. No, 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 no. Okay. So, netherite ingots, blood gems, right? I get to make this, massivance, oh, one melee damage. There's got to be a reason why that's in there. Huh. Blood gem, uses. I was fighting a couple of these, these purple blazes. They have like 300 HP. They totally killed me. Like, that's what killed me. Oh, that's why my... Uh, <laughs> that's totally why. I totally died twice getting my crap back. It was fun getting down there. Um, yeah, rubber boots will uh, absorb fall damage from a pretty high distance but uh, I was hoping to make a mad dash with all my crap because I have magnet mode on and yeah, nope well, let me see. nope let's just say that hey, no 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 that blaze that purple blaze had bigger ideas better ideas for me I uh totally bit the dust so let's actually get rid of that To remind myself of that, I suppose. And I need to fix my my Minecraft skin. I have my Minecraft skin, but for some odd dang reason, Minecraft, the older versions of Minecraft, doesn't want to use the Mojang skin website. I suppose they're down because they've been using some sort of Microsoft website and whatever. But I have I gotta find a way to put my skin in a texture pack, like a really simple texture pack. I'm working on the texture pack and it's done. It's it's uh, John Smith uh, modded with uh, some of the mods uh, disabled out of it and all of the GUI is uh, disabled. So it's like vanilla, uh, vanilla GUI because I, I can't stand like no boxes around my things, you know, and not seeing where something is if, like, the texture pack doesn't match the GUI. <laughs> it does bother me, <laughs> alright? That bothers me. It should bother you. Like, that's a bothering thing. Like, it's kind of like seeing a crooked painting on the wall, right? Or, 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 like, somebody's, like, got like tomato sauce on their lip and nobody will say anything about it and you're like damn it just wipe your face <laughs> right so it bothers me okay i have a little bit of ocd all right i had to take the torches down in here and replace them <laughs> 
I actually had to, to cut out the roof because I got tired of bumping my noggin as I walked down here. I'm gonna have to replace all those bricks here, but I have a lot to do, okay? I have a lot to do. I have a dang ton to do. Gotta get my skin fixed. I gotta get all the errors in this pack working. Right? Not weird on power. Oh, well, I guess I should come down here. Yep, we're, we're, those were running on, um, those were running on blaze rods. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I should probably, I've, I've, I've depleted these banks several times already. I took his quarry out, and, uh, yeah, basically it's a charging room with a blast furnace, air industrial blast furnace, and, uh, some resources, and, uh, Cool little starter base, dude. Cool little starter base. I like it. <laughs> uh, I gotta laugh at myself. I'm kind of a dingbutt. <laughs> uh, and I gotta do something about these things. I'm gonna totally cut these all down, and I'm gonna use that. Ah! Oh, I don't want to go down there. That's a uh, early beginner mine. So I uh, cut all these down and I want to use them for a timber because I want to build a city, like a medieval style city. Well, some of it's going to be medieval, some of it's not. It's going to be like, just kind of like, a little bit of everything. But it's going to be like, I'm going to build a city down here and I'm going to build a ki kingdom. It's going to have a giant wall around it in some parts and the parts that don't have a wall are going to be guarded. There's going to be ballista and catapults and all sorts of cool things and there's going to be wizards and necromancers and there's going to be uh, all sorts of bad guys like swarming the gates and uh, look at me lag as I'm explaining this. Like yeah it sounds good bro but get your errors fixed first. Hey it's on the to-do list. Don't judge me. Look at all this. Error, error, error. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, my work is cut, cut out for me. Or I am cut out for my work. It is good. It is a good thing, my friend. And I gotta get myself a little bit of animals over here. There's a piggy right there. Whoa. Whoa. Mouse control is not working. <laughs> I have a lot to do, my friends, and uh, yeah, I'll build on screen, uh, on camera, but uh, most of the time, I'm probably going to be building off camera, because there's just a lot to do, and come on, darn it, I want to shoot the squid! Yeah! And Heidi Squid? And hidey squid. Yeah. And <laughs> they drop squid meat. So I cook it. And get me some experience orbies. There's a mod called Rainbow Experience. And I think it's a mod loader mod. Way back before Forge came out, uh, Minecraft used a mod called Mod Loader. And, uh, well, uh,. It's not really compatible with this version, I guess. And that really made me sad, because Rainbow Experience Orbs? That sounds awesome! I mean, up there is an... That's an Enderman spawner. And I have a Wither Skeleton spawner soul shard somewhere in my crap. Uh, it's one of these canvas bags. Yep. So, I'm going to be building a whole bunch of, like, monster farms. Uh, especially with the Soul Shards mod, I hope it's work. I hope it works with the Divine RPG mod, because they have a lot of cool, mo uh, cool like mod items, like uh, the Hellstone ingots, Netherite ingots, these molten molten stones. These molten stones are really cool, because, all right, look, you could build armor out of it. Inferno chest plate, fifteen percent damage reduction, infinite uses. I don't know what that. I don't know what infinite uses means, 
but full set. Fire protection, full set. Lava protection, I'd say that's... That's worth it. And a bow! Infernal bow, I'm totally making one of those. <gasps> I can make one of those right now. I have the means. To the fit station! No, 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 fit station! Don't copyright me! Project table. Molten stone. And you get them from these molten shards you get from fighting this weird fireman monster thing called a wildfire or hellfire. I can't really get close enough to them because they, they, they mess you up, dude. Like, full set of, like, nano armor. Yeah, my health got taken down pretty far. Like, oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Right? They, I had some faith in my gear until then. Inferno bow. Let's give her a go. Alright. Looks good. Ooh. What? What? No way. The arrows are different. It doesn't use my... It doesn't use my arrows. Both of my... Both of my arrows are infinite fire bows. <laughs> Testing it out on this piggy. I want me a quick pork chop. Oi, we're gonna hunt this piggy here. And we're gonna sneak by here behind these furnaces. Oi, piggy! Oi! Oi! Don't walk away from me here! Piggy! Piggy knows he's in danger. Piggy! Feel the fear in the piggy's eyes. Piggy! Meet your maker! Meet your maker. <laughs> Did nine damage. Not bad. And... Raw pork chop. Did not cook it. Okay. But it doesn't use arrows. Still. And I probably can... Enchanted, but boy, repairing it is going to be expensive. All right, so third time my phone is going off. I've been recording for a little bit, so yeah, I will, I will place this down, and I will put you home safely. Yes, I took a boat. It's a good took a boat day. Who's a good chocobo? Wait, wait, wait. Yes. He loves me. I love you too, chocobo. Alright, guys. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Get a, get a good position. Wait, 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 wait. It's F3. Nope. F2. Ha! Screenshot! Yeah! <laughs> hey, this YouTube thing is hard. This this YouTube thing is hard. <laughs> Alright, guys. It was fun hanging out with you guys, and I hope you guys uh, had a beautiful day, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button if you like it. Subscribe for more, and you will be seeing more of me and this map and its error to glory. <gasps> Did you actually move? Really? You moved. Yeah. 
was totally unaware this thing this thing could move. I wonder if I can give it seeds and heal it. I'm gonna tinker with this. And until then, guys, it's been fun. We will see you guys in the next video, guys. And uh Philly Vizu!